our panel was designed to look at where national network regulations are getting in the way of companies that are trying to provide global cloud services, particularly uh, startup companies. Uh, we had the most international panel. Uh, Laura Donardis from American University kind of provided a framework on how to think about these issues. Uh, Fanny Higvigi uh, from uh, Brussels talked about the specific case of data retention laws in Europe. Uh, Nigel Corey is based here in Washington, but he's originally from Brisbane, Australia, and has a great accent. <laughs> he summarized a recent ITIF report on data localization and the different laws in different countries. And then Masasaki, <coughs> um, Masasaki Sakamaki came all the way from uh, uh, Tokyo to talk about internet interconnection, particularly what's going on in Asia. We also had great questions from Susan Chalmers, from Mike Godwin, from uh, Thomas Streintz, and a, a really good question on how technology is embedded, uh, has, an, has embedded values in it. Uh, I'm gonna summarize our conclusions in about 10 tweets real quickly. Uh, Laura had a very good one that actually got retweeted. Um, the cloud is not the internet, but regulating the internet does impact the cloud. Uh, data localization is not compatible with good engineering design. Second, third tweet, in many cases, encryption does a much better job of accomplishing what data localization requirements are intended to accomplish. Uh, the one universal tweet, which may apply to most of the panels, was, it's complicated. <laughs> and we had a particularly good case of that from Ukraine and in Fani's discussion of EU data retention laws. But we concluded that the ITU was even more complicated than the EU. Um, the ITIF report found that many of the data localization requirements come from very old legacy rules, 20 and 30 years old. Uh, a lot of different motivations for those rules ranging from Russians worried about information war to some European countries playing protectionist games. Um, and then we asked for concluding tweets, and one, one that I particularly liked was, don't ask what regulation is needed, ask what the minimal regulation is needed. Um, that's clearly not happening in some cases. Uh, we had a lot of discussion about what's going on in Korea with internet, internet internet interconnection rules. We also concluded that multi-stakeholder cooperation is the key to dealing with the complexity of these issues. Uh, Fani summarized another key point, which is that good public policy is built on a foundation of human rights, and that her hope was that the courts in Europe will be able to sort out some of the very conflicting messages being sent by different parts of the same government, where data protection commissioners are saying, protect the data, and law enforcement is saying, give me all the data you got forever. And then the last point, just to build on what um, was said about IoT, is that the Internet of Things will make everything even more complicated.